Okay, hopefully I stay in focus. My camera has been having a little bit of difficulty focusing on me, but it also could be the fact that it's 6 15 right now and i have like no lights on i have like one set of lights and then this lamp usually at night i don't turn like both sets of lights on that it's just way too many lights i love a good lamp vibe at night lamps only um so yeah pulling out the ring light for this wasn't the vibe <laughs> so we're just cozy sitting on the couch i might favorite pajama pants on and we're just gonna chat about the proposal okay we're gonna go through the questions you guys had if you guys didn't watch the full like proposal video where i go into detail share some pictures and videos go watch that and then come back to this one but i put on my instagram um a q a submission form where you guys could submit questions and i would answer them so let's get into it i got some really good questions and yeah, all right, so let's go. So question number one, I got a lot of questions like this. Sorry, I am distracted by my hair, so I'm gonna fix it really, really quick. Okay, first question, I got a lot of this type of question. Was it a surprise? Did you know? Did you have any hints? Stuff like that. So as you guys know, Christian and I have been together for so freaking long that of course we've talked about getting engaged. Of course we talked so much about getting married, like, had so many conversations like that so yes i knew a proposal was coming i just didn't know when it was gonna happen or where and i really really thought i would know like i i thought i'd be like getting ready like doing my makeup and just like completely feeling like oh my god he's he's gonna propose he's gonna propose because i'm not kidding you guys <laughs> from may to when we got engaged from may 2022 to january 2023 i was legitimately thinking i was getting proposed to uh, like any any day any week any month i really thought it was happening like two times throughout the summer like two trips that we went on in the summer and then also like in the fall this past year we went to like paris and barcelona and everybody thought it was happening in like paris and it didn't <laughs> So we were both disappointed there. <laughs> Just kidding. So um, I really didn't think it was happening on this trip. My headspace like wasn't really there. One, because I didn't want to be disappointed like if it didn't happen. So I just like really didn't put a lot of pressure on like a proposal. And also I was insanely busy at work from like Thanksgiving through New Year's. So really this trip for me was like, yes, I'm finally gonna be able to relax. Finally gonna get a good tan. We had so much fun going to Cabo last year. So we knew like what to expect and I was just so excited to be back there. It's so, so beautiful. Um, so I was just overall really excited to just be in Cabo again. Um, and I wasn't thinking too hard about it. Of course, you just never know. So I got my nails done. I, which I would do anyway on a vacation. Um, picked out really cute clothes. Again, would do that no matter what. Um, and so, yeah, I was just like, oh, maybe it'll happen. Like, maybe it won't. He was just being very, very calm throughout the first two days. So I was just like, there's literally no way he planned anything. Like, there's no way. So, yeah. I wasn't thinking it was happening um and even when we were look uh walking up to the place where it happened like the spot where it happened i was checking his pockets you guys because obviously it's really hard to hide a ring box in skinnier pants and christian doesn't wear like loose fitting things so i was looking i was just like glancing um didn't see anything but i didn't know until after he actually hid the ring box in his in the front of his briefs in that area <laughs> so i wasn't thinking to like look there so good good spot to hide it if you're a guy watching or like a girlfriend and you yeah tell your boyfriend to hide it by his you know what <laughs> then when it happened it was literally a complete shock well i knew it was i knew something was up when he was kissing me i said this in the proposal video like he was kissing me harder for pictures and i was like what's going on here um so that's when i knew it was happening 
and then I was just like completely like oh my god I can't believe this is happening like in my head as it was happening <laughs> um and yeah it was so so special we cried I I still cried thinking about it okay so next question I got I got a lot of similar ones like this again so did you go ring shopping together how did you know what type of ring you wanted did he surprise you with a ring or did you send him exactly what you wanted so christian and i actually never went ring shopping together believe it or not I, it's something i always wanted to do i told him like i wanted to go ring shopping with him and it just like didn't happen i actually went to brilliant earth in philadelphia with one of my best friends shania weird experience i didn't really like it it's great for somebody who wants to like customize a ring and they have like a vision and wanted to bring it to life but really i wanted to just like walk into a jewelry store and like have the lady pull out all different types of rings different sizes different metals whatever didn't get that she was like we have a case of one carat cubic zirconia rings that you can try on um, and then I guess that's when it gets into the customization part after you like find the setting you like and then she pulls out like loose stones like you can look at the loose stones um, So didn't like that experience at all Personally, like I said, I just wanted to go in and try on a bunch of rings um, But yeah, I always knew in the back of my mind though like going into that appointment. I was like I want to try on a yellow gold solitaire band with an oval on it like I I know I want that um, and I, I just know never knew what it was gonna like look like on my finger so i'll insert pictures that i took from brilliant earth because i tried on a bunch of different ones my nails in those pictures looked literally hideous so just disregard that or i'm literally gonna crop my fingers out because they look terrible um anyway yeah we just never went ring shopping like i said for the longest time i've been looking at rings i think definitely my style changed before like in high school i was like really into the halo around the ring like on where you can visibly see it from the top but as i've gotten like older i wanted something just very timeless and like classic and i think everybody's ring like to them is that but to me like i said this is my ring i think this ring is so timeless and so classic and so perfect so yeah it turned into like the halo and then i was like no um pave which is like the stones like on the side like on the actual band itself um and then i was like nope solitaire so that was like the setting and then the stone shape it was more like a, I guess cushion cut you could i guess that would be the one but then with the halo i was like oh square um it just changed and then from like end of high school through college i was like oval 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 i want an oval um and yeah so any picture i saw of like a solitaire oval um i would just send it to christian and i swear you guys i had numerous nightmares that christian was gonna propose to me or he proposed to me in these dreams with the most hideous pieces of metal like not even a ring it was like metal I don't know I was stressing out too hard I guess subconsciously about the ring um but he gave me my dream ring like most beautiful ring ever but yeah that was that was my experience um but I do want to show you guys so I got this cubic zirconia ring in the summer focus in the summer um because I thought I was getting engaged and I was like oh I'll have like this ring um to have so i can wear it in the water at the beach because we live at the beach um it is a beautiful solitaire radiant cut and i didn't try this cut or this stone on um at the jewelry store but i like really like it so it's just fun it actually has a hidden halo too but this is different compared to mine so this wraps around the basket prongs and then this one um has like the prong shown so you know do you see how it's different anyway there's just so many different styles to rings and i think all rings are so unique and so beautiful like even this is so beautiful if your ring looks like this gorgeous but obviously like this isn't the shape 
I wanted but I was like oh like I'll just get this and just like see how it looks it actually looks really good and I really like the shape on my finger as well um so yeah like I said go try on rings because you may have like two different ones like ovals still my number one but I was like oh wow I actually never knew I would like this ring shape so moral of the story, I think everybody should go try on engagement rings, whether it's with your future fiance, your mom, your sister, your best friend. I think you should just because you could see the most beautiful ring on Instagram or on Pinterest and you try it on and you're literally like, wow, this does not flatter my hand shape or my fingers at all. So I don't know. That's like something that was very important to me. Like I want to I want to make sure like the ring complements my fingers because <laughs> that's where it's sitting all day and that's where you're looking at it so go try on rings it's really fun and then one other thing i want to show you guys from amazon so my mother-in-law and sister-in-law or future mother-in-law and sister-in-law they told me about this diamond dazzle stick so basically you just like wet the brush and then you just twist the cap and then you can just like clean your ring and seriously i use this after two weeks of having my ring it literally looked brand spanking new and i was like there's no way like my ring is that dirty but i used this and holy cow it really did look brand spanking new so i will link this down below if you guys know of anyone getting engaged and want to give them this cute little gift or you have your own ring that you want to clean definitely use that it works wonders okay next question does it feel different being engaged versus just dating so i was actually curious about this myself like while we were just dating you know we've been together for so long i'm like is it really gonna feel that different but truthfully and as cheesy as it sounds it does feel different like i was lying on christian the morning after and i was just thinking wow like we're literally gonna be husband and wife we're creating our own family together and also now it just feels real that like i'm a part of his family like there's no question that i was not a part of his family like all the other years like i was but it's like it's a real it's like i'm gonna be his his sister is gonna be my sister-in-law and like my brother is gonna be his brother-in-law like we're combining families in that sense and it just feels so it just feels like a deeper kind of connection a deeper like love um so yeah it feels different Okay, this next question is so freaking good and I want to talk about it and address it. So she asked, did you both feel pressure from others to get engaged? If yes, how did it affect you? 100% yes, I felt pressured from outside people to get engaged. And it's really, it was really hard for me because I'm the type of person who believes 100% things happen to you at the perfect time in your life everything that happens to you like happens for a reason and it happens literally at the perfect time for you and so when people project their ideal timelines onto you it's really it can get it can eat away at you um and make you feel like oh wait yeah, maybe I should be engaged now or like a year ago I should have been engaged or just because they've been dating for like however many years we should get engaged because we've been dating for longer. And it's like, stop, literally stop. First, it's, it's really frustrating because people who ask those types of questions like, what's taking him so long? And why aren't you guys engaged yet? It's like you get, not you guys, but like, those people literally have no idea what's going on in our personal lives and have no idea the goals, the personal goals we have set up or that we are striving towards. And of course, marriage is one of them, but it's like there's so many other factors that go into it. And it's such like a life changing decision that doesn't matter. It shouldn't matter for other people. It should only matter for you and like what's the right timing for you and like your partner together and that's it and i'm getting like a little emotional because i i didn't think i would get a little bit emotional but 
I do like remember like feeling really like down and defeated because I did let it I did let it affect me like it was kind of a roller coaster because like I said I'm the type of person who I believe like things happen at the perfect time for you so I knew like it was gonna happen for us it was gonna happen for us there was no question in my mind and I knew Oh my god okay stop i knew god was gonna deliver the universe whatever you think i knew god was gonna deliver and he did it was the literal perfect timing in our lives for us i hated getting comments being like oh like you guys have been together for 12 years where's the ring you should dump them like are you kidding me some people would be like oh you should you guys should have been like engaged by now it's like to what standard? Like, oh, we should get married after two years of dating? If it was according to that timeline, we would be 15 years old and we were not getting married at 15. So, look, something that I'm working on in 2023 and on is protecting my peace. Like that is my life motto for 2023 protecting my peace because there were way too many times this past year that i let like deadlines of other people dictate my happiness and my sense of self-worth i also hate the trend if he wanted to he would because not every situation that people are using this trend on is as black and white as it seems like especially when it's life altering decisions that you're making with your partner whether it's getting engaged or deciding to have a baby like those things shouldn't come from the pressure of like outside voices like it should just be about you too so yeah protect your peace and just know that like you're on your own path you and your partner are together on your own path and like no other person's thinking should like dictate what you guys do Okay, let's get back into the fun question. So, did he ask your dad for his blessing? And yes, he did. So, both Christian's brother and brother-in-law asked their father-in-laws for permission. And Christian followed suit. So, he did. He asked my dad on Christmas Eve, actually. And it's really funny because I thought this one time when Christian asked me if my dad wanted to, like, go golfing. Like, if he think he would go golfing with him. Um... I thought he was gonna ask him then and I was like shitting my pants. I was like, oh my god I think Christian's asking my dad for permission and he wasn't <laughs> They were just playing golf. Like I think it was him my dad my brother and Christian's brother and dad maybe I don't know um, But he asked my dad on Christmas Eve, which is really sweet I don't think he wanted to like ask my dad before like he officially had the ring with him um and like that was just i guess the most convenient time for christian to ask him so he asked then i had no idea um we had like a large family gathering on christmas eve so i was probably off talking to like my cousin or something and he found a time to ask him so he did okay next question was he nervous so yes he told me after the fact like he was nervous like he's asking the most important question of his life and of my life so yes he was nervous but he really didn't show it on the outside um i didn't pick up on it but looking back he was just very quiet and to himself like the first two days of the vacation um like i said i didn't pick up on it but now looking back i was like oh like you were preparing yourself like for the first two days he said he couldn't sleep he didn't sleep well the first two days and I just thought it was because of our bed. Like the bed there was insanely firm and I wasn't used to it. So like I wasn't really sleeping that well the first two nights. And so that's what he blamed it on. But he was really blaming it on or he really blamed the lack of sleep on the fact that he was proposing on Monday. So after the engagement and everything, his mom said that the night before. So I went to bed really early the night before. I was super tired. Um, and she said that they were at the dinner table like him and Christian or her and Christian And his dad and sister were on like the couch and Christian she said Christian starts crying and she's like 
what's wrong? Like, why are you crying? And she starts crying and he's just like, I'm just so excited. And yeah, it was really sweet. So he's a sweet boy. Okay, so that's it for the proposal questions. Now we get into what's next, the wedding question. So somebody asked, what's next? Do you want a big wedding, small wedding? So yeah, we're in wedding planning stages, the beginning stages. I was going back and forth between thinking like, oh, if we don't want to do a big wedding, let's do a super small, like immediate family only. And then my grandparents um, type of wedding. Uh, maybe we do like a destination where we go to somewhere warm and then like make a mini vacation out of it. Um, but ultimately we have big families, the, the both of us. And we have like a lot of family friends that we're super close to. And of course our best friends. And ultimately we want them all there um, to watch us get married. So we're planning a big wedding. It's looking like it's going to be... Oh, a little over 200 invited and then we'll see like who ends up coming because you know not everybody will say yes due to timing issues and stuff like that so yeah we're planning a big wedding um we're looking for may or june of 2024 could not swing it like may or june of this year that would be way too fast of planning um, and then we can't do it at like the end of the year because there's two Corcoran weddings for his cousins um, in September. So really, like ideally, September is a great date, but I wouldn't really want to go into October or November. Like, I don't know. I'm not really a fall wedding type of gal myself. Like, I love going to them, but for myself, I've always pictured like a beginning of summer kind of wedding. So yeah, we're looking at May or June of 2024 around 200 people it's a lot of people um we've been on venue tours i don't know if i'm gonna put up a video about venue tours maybe like the ones that i don't choose i'll put up um but then leave the one that we actually pick like a secret for a little bit <laughs> i don't know um haven't really thought through the whole like wedding series videos let me know um okay do you want bridesmaids yes i have a list of people i want to ask to be my bridesmaids i'm sure some of them already know um but yeah i'm thinking of ways that i want to ask them because i've seen so many like on tiktok and stuff but i don't know i have an idea actually of how i want to ask them and like what i want to give them and stuff like that so i'll of course film stuff like that on my tiktok on my youtube so follow me on there um what type of wedding aesthetic do you want do you have any theme ideas so my pinterest board right now for our wedding is like lots of white green and pops of blue because i love blue and also if we're not getting married close to the water or like at the beach or something like i want like a little pop of blue to like bring in a little bit of a coastal vibe kind of thing so just like elegant classy garden i don't know there's no like theme like i know exactly the vision i want um so it's just like romantic stuff like that um yeah i don't know if that anything like that makes sense like it's in my head and a yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Did that make sense? Wedding planning is literally no joke, you guys. Um, I knew it wasn't going to be always fun. <laughs> and right now, because venue is so important and like securing your date is so important in like the wedding industry, things get snatched up so fast. And like people are already like fully like place venues are already like fully booked sometimes for like 2024. It's like absolutely insane. So it's really important right now to like secure a date and find the venue and yeah also it's just like all of the stressful things are literally happening all in the beginning like you need to do guest lists and how many people and like do you have to cut anybody and like how expensive are these venues and like prices are astronomical i don't know why they're so insane like if you just mention the word wedding it's like 50 grand like how so yeah i think 
at least I knew how expensive wedding were, weddings were, but I think my parents, this is the first wedding that they're planning. I think they're in serious sticker shock uh, for how expensive weddings are nowadays. And yeah, it's a group effort and it gets stressful. It's already been a little bit stressful, but at the end of the day, I just can't wait to get married to Christian. So that's all that matters. Um, and I know it's gonna be perfect, like on the actual day and everything's gonna work out the way it's meant to be. So I'm not like too, too stressed anymore. <laughs> I say that because there's been tears already, okay? I'm just being transparent. There's been tears shed already. So yeah, that is, that is wedding planning right now. And I will keep you guys updated along the process. Like after this Q and A video goes up, like I think I'm just gonna start vlogging like my everyday life again. Um, just cause like things are starting to happen and it's an exciting time in my life. So that is the Q and A. Let me know if you guys have any other questions. Um, this was really fun to film. I felt like I was on a roller coaster of emotions. Um, but yeah, I am so excited for this chapter, this journey Christian and I are on, and I love that I get to share it with you guys, and I love, oh my god, I just gotta say thank you, thank you guys for the love and support. It was so sweet, like, when I posted on my Instagram, I was like, oh my god, I can't believe, like, I'm finally telling people, um, and it was just so sweet to hear all the feedback of, like, people saying, like, oh my god, like, I've been waiting for this moment since like i started watching your videos in college and blah 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 so it's so sweet to see like how people have been following our relationship for that long and it just we feel so blessed and so grateful for the amount of love that we've received and the support so i just want to say thank you guys and can't wait to take you on this journey of wedding planning <laughs> we get to go wedding dress shopping together so that's what i'm excited for right now but that's probably not happening until like april or may so yeah but i'm gonna end the video here i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next video bye